Sandra Williams Bush and I'm the branch manager of the Frank E. Merriweather Jr. Branch Library. This library was opened in 2006 and is named after Frank E. Merriweather Jr. And his father, Frank E. Merriweather Sr., started the Buffalo Criterion newspaper, which is the oldest continual African American newspaper in central and western New York. Now some of the special things about this library is that it was built around the idea of an African village. So we have the circulation desk, which is the hub of the library. And then we have the huts. We have the children's hut. We have the adult hut. And in the uh, outer area, we have the computer lab, the auditorium, and the meeting room. We also have murals in each of the different huts. In the children's area, we have an underground railroad quilt pattern. And this was deliberately made in a colorful way to reflect the colorful lives of children. And it was, the artist wanted it to show activity. So that's the underground railroad. Adult side, we have a mural that reflects the patterns of African huts. In the auditorium, there's a different pattern, and in the resource room, there's yet another pattern. And I'd like to take you to the African American resource room, and that's something very unique about this library. This library has the largest collection of African and African American materials. This is really the basis of this library. Nothing in this collection circulates. There are some materials here that you can find maybe at Central or we might have another copy here, but some of these items you can't even buy any. One of the other unique things about this room is a collection of obituaries that we have. The obituary project was started by the Buffalo Genealogy Society of the African Diaspora. And inside it has all the genealogy information on the person, who their parents were, where they grew up, whether they moved from, say, Mississippi to Ohio to Buffalo. So you get a lot of genealogy information here. And this, of course, stays in the library. In complement to this, we have a microfilm collection. The obituary project is part of the microfilm collection, but we also have microfilm records of some of the black churches in the area, some prominent people like Daniel Eckert, and we have uh, groups like the NAACP, the Challenger, the Criteria, and the microfilm project has been filmed by the Afro-American Historical Association of the Niagara Diaspora. And that is the group that basically started this collection when it was at the North Jefferson Library. And the president at that time was Dr. Monroe Fordham. And Dr. Fordham has since made transition. And he started this collection along with the then uh, Assistant Deputy Director, Mr. William Miles. So there are a lot of great tools, there are a lot of great resources in this room, but of course in the library proper, there are a lot of great resources too. And we invite you to come, we invite you to get a library card, and check out what we have to offer. Thank you.